The following transcriptions were originally made in Baltimore, Maryland, in the studios of Henry O. Berman and Company. Made in August of 1946. And put on this tape recording on December the 8th of 1958 by yours truly, who has a birthday today, December the 8th. Put on the Ampex tape recorders in the studios of WSIG in Mount Jackson, Virginia. chuckle today. Enjoy the program. Sing it, boy. Ah, ah, Johnny's on his way. Ah, 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 he'll arrive today. Had a hound dog in Arkansas, a hound dog white and brown. He left his family home one day while taken in the town. Now hurry, John, hurry, he's on the trail once more. Hurry, John, hurry, he's headed for Baltimore. in Arkansas, 16 stories high, and every story in that house was filled with pumpkin pie. Now hurry, John, hurry, he's on the trail once more. Hurry, John, hurry, he's headed for Baltimore. Now, friends, here's Lefty, our screaming tenor, and he says the blues don't bother him. He just chucks them right out the window, yeah? Hey. Oh, the blues don't bother me in my young life. Somehow, somewhere, I lose them. And the gals don't bother me in my young life. Somehow, somewhere, I lose them. Never a tear, never a care, never a heartache. you like you want me to out an old timer at the present time and putting a little new twist to it. Polly Boy Doodle all day, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I went down south for to see my sow sing Polly Wally Doodle all day. My sow, she am a spunky gal sing Polly Wally Doodle all day. Oh, my sow, she am a maiden fair sing Polly Wally Doodle all day. With curly eyes and laughing hair sing Polly Wally Doodle all day. Louisiana for 
to see Miss Louisiana singing Polly Polly Doodle on the <whistles> Now then, here's Dapper Dan. Uh, golly, today he's doing just what comes naturally, so we'll just have to wait and see what comes. <laughs> Now folks are dumb where I come from, they ain't had no larning. Still they're happy as a can be, doing the what that comes naturally. Doing the what comes naturally. Now folks like us should never fuss with schools and books and larning. Still we've gone from A to Z, doing the what that comes naturally. Doing the what that comes naturally. Now you don't have to know how to read or write when you're out with the feller in the pale moonlight. And you don't have to look in a book to find what he thinks of the moon and what is on his mind. That comes naturally, that comes naturally. My uncle out in Texas can't even write his name. He signs his checks with X's and they cash him just the same. Now, Grandpa Dick was always sick, but he never saw a doctor. He up and died at 93, doing the what that comes naturally. Doing the what comes naturally. Say, Elmer, yeah. you better sound your way. Your darn old fiddle's out of tune, I'd say. Zebedee, you're the worst I've seen. Why don't you put a patch on your old accordion? Son, on your old guitar, you better get hot or I'm going to kick you far. Now listen, big boy, on your big bass viol, we need some rhythm and we need it now. Well, now, boys, be we all in key? Yes, sir, we're all in key. Well, we expect to get a chop on the radio soon. Ain't going to get it if we ain't in tune. Now, one, two, three... Come on, boys, let's try it once more. Now, if you saw my Mo and Pa, you'd know they had no larning. Still, they raised a family, doing the what that comes naturally. 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 Uh, well, we got that one out in our system, and we certainly hope that you're going to enjoy the next one we got planned for you. It just so happens that along about this time of the day, I... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness alive, here he comes, yeah. Elmer and Bonypart coming down the road. Oh, right golly, he's absorbed in some kind of reading material. I wonder what it is. Listen at him laughing. Listen at him laughing. <laughs> Morning, Elmer! Oh, with our bony part, oh, with our feller. How do you do, the Happy Jenny? Now, what are you reading and what are you laughing at, Elmer? Well, I'll tell you, I'm looking at the old family album. Yeah. See, here's a picture of Elvira when I was a courtner. Elvira? Yeah, for mm. Why, mm. now, she's just a rag of bone and a hank of hair. Oh, there. Uh, Pardon me, Jim. I showed you her x-ray picture by mistake. Oh, <laughs> Here's one of Uncle Henry. Remember Uncle Henry, John? Yeah. Oh, when he had this one taken, he had a fly on his nose. Well, why in the world didn't he brush it off? Well, I'll tell you, John, he couldn't. He couldn't? No. Why not? Well, he was handcuffed at the time. Oh, oh, oh. See, here's another one, John. Here's another one. Look at this one of me showing my muscle. <laughs> Yeah, you should have had it enlarged. Yeah, the picture, of course. No, the muscle. Now, wait a minute, John. Wait <laughs> a minute, Drat and have you, son. See, here's a picture of me and my nurse when I was only two years old. When you was two years old? Yep. <clears throat> Let me get a close look at this and say, Elmer, there's something wrong with uh, this picture. The nurse is sitting on your lap. Well, that just goes to show you, Jonathan, how smart I was when I was two years old. Giddy up, pony part. Well, now, friends, our throbbing, thrushy baritone from the mountains, Lloyd Carter, have I told you lately that I loved you? Have I told you lately how I love you? Could I tell you once again somehow? Have I told you with all my heart and soul how I adore you? Well, darling, I'm telling you now. 
this heart would break in two if you'd refuse me. I'm no good without you anyhow. This world would end today if I should lose you. Well, darling, I'm telling you now. This heart would break in two if you'd refuse me. I'm no good without you anyhow. This world would end today if I should lose you. Well, darling, I'm telling you now. I leave We don't feel like our program would be complete today unless we dug out the old five-stringer and took an old-timer and put her out on the frying pan. Little eyes to change you. Hey, hey! hey. down to the point in the program now where we got to say happiness is where you find it. I certainly hope that you'll look around and find some today. It's time for us to ski daddle and here we go. Sing and swing and way around up time. Now friends, this transcription was made a little after the first one which you just heard after we had added a man to the group by the name of Bob Mason, who later on, after we had gotten into the state of Iowa, on KXEL in Waterloo, Iowa, where we were in the fall of the 1946, Bob Mason absconded. He took off with some clothes, merchandise, as well as a guitar and a speaker. We never heard from him since. Rhythm is our business and it's rhythm is what we sell. Here's the accordion man in the band. Kip Hoover plays accordion, he's the man. Now when he plays the original style, swing the folks from mouth and mouth with original style, nice big smile, here he goes to town right now. Hey boy! He's the ladies man in the band. I'm speaking about lefty, he's the man. Now when he sings them nice and sweet, listen, gal, she can't be beat. 
Here he is, Lefty. Oh, love, oh, love, oh, careless love. Love, oh, love, careless love. Love, oh, love, oh, careless love. Say, look what love has done to me. Ah, the yodeling man in the van. I'm speaking about Lloyd Carter. He's the man. Now, when he oodles way up high, makes you think you're in the sky. My, my, way up high in the sky and hit it high. Here's that guitar man in the van. Bob Mason, he's the man. Now, when he plays that hot guitar, he has some folks from near and far. Watch the guitar and here you are. Ride, man, ride. Here's the man you've been waiting on in the van. Who's that man? I'm speaking about Happy Johnny. He's the man. Now when he plays that red hot fiddle, listen, folks, we got him in the middle with the red hot fiddle and the high diddle diddle, and here he comes right back in the middle of the hall. <laughs> Rhythm is our business, rhythm is our business. Lefty hits the high notes. Blue. Johnny hits the harmony notes. Blue. Blue. Rhythm, rhythm, rhythm is what we say. Hey. Yes, sir, and how are you folks in King? You chuckle today. Well, it happened way down on the hills, they say. Old Uncle Zen Turner, sitting down on a picnic one day, noticing all the young girls, how they was a chawing gum. He wrote this song. Now Mama took me to the spring, told me not to stay. But I fell in love with a pretty little gal and could not get away. I chewed chawing gum. They got a very popular selection called, oh, those Texas Blues, yeah. Oh, those Texas Blues, Blues down to my shoes. All the cats that stand me, I'll soon be on my way. Oh, those Texas Blues, Lone Star Every, that's my destiny.
just me getting away out off in the pool. Uh, get... <laughs> what do I hear here? Let's take a look. Mm, Elmer and Bonypart coming down the street. Look at that old spring wagon he's a setting on there. <laughs> Morning, Elmer. Hold oh, our Bonypart. Hold oh, our dread nephew. Hold it. Howdy doody, happy Jenny. Yeah. Morning, Elmer. Well, yes, how's things are going? Well, John, I tell you, pretty darn good out on the farm today. I was out to your place the other day and. I was, I was going up through the front yard that there little dog you got like to tore my leg off. <laughs> you saw him, huh? <laughs> what kind of a dog is that? Well, it's a rat terrier. Rat terrier. Rat terrier. Mm -hmm. Pretty good on rats? Dern tootin', best there is. Well, I went on down to the barn and I seen a whole bunch of rats around the barn. How Why, did that come? <laughs> Why, sure, them thars are rats. But you just let any strange rats come around there. Oh, Giddy up, yeah. pony part. <laughs> it's Lloyd Carter time on the program. Him with an alpine yodel going away out there to Switzerland. Let her go. High up on the mountain where the snow is silvery white. Hear my honey yodeling far into the night. She yodels high, yodels well. Put a little tea. Gee, I love to hear her because I love her so. With the a a little a a a a a Now we have a family in a little Swiss chalet, and the kids keep yodeling day after day. Some yodel high, yodel well, put a little tea. Gee, I love to hear them because I love them so. With the a a little a a a me. Well, it's Bob Mason, yeah? him and his guitar, and we like his guitar picking. Southern Blues. That's it. Thank you, fellas. Dan Martin, he's you hooing to his girlfriend way up in the hills now, and we certainly hope you're going to like it. Take it away, son. Now, when I you hoo in the valley to my Lulu in the hills, she would answer with her yodel, lady who. When I hear my Lulu's yodel as it echo through the dells, I knew she was a singing, I love you. I ain't had no book learning. I never learned to write. We kept in touch with one to other, a yodeling every night. Now when I you in the valley to my Lulu in the hills, she would answer with her yodel lady who. You, you, and I 
I knew she was a thinking I love you. You. Then I knew she was a thinking I love you. So I ain't had no book learning, never learned to write. Kept that with one to other, yodeling every night. Now when I you who in the violet to my Lulu in the hill, she would answer with her old lady who how to lead the old lady. How to lead the old lady. How to lead the old lady. When I you in the valley to my Lulu in the hill, she would answer with her old lady who had a little old lady. Had a little old lady. Had a little. Well, that just about closes up the barn gate this time on our program, and we certainly hope you enjoyed it. Right now, it's time for us to skedaddle, and here we go. Swingin', swingin', it's Radio Roundup time. You'll probably notice on one part of that tape there was just a little bit cut out. Well, I got the machine all womper jawed and uh, tore some of the tape and had to take a splice out of her. The following transcription was made on the transcribing equipment, the transcribing equipment that was uh, existing at the time at KXEL in Waterloo, Iowa, where we were at the time. And this was made in the early part of 1947 after the outfit had been narrowed down to four people. Bob Mason had scun out with some equipment, left on the train, we never could find him, took some clothes with him of mine. Then Dapper Dan had returned home to his wife. So one day we were playing a show, it was known as a pancake day, in a town up in northern Iowa. And we made this transcription before we left to go up and play that show, and I'd like to put it on this tape, if you don't mind. Love is an ocean of emotion surrounded entirely by expenses. Yes, sir, it's time for Happy Johnny and the Higgins Boys by transcription with Kip Hoover, Lloyd Carter, and Lefty. Now here's the Higgins Boys with a specialty. A good old-fashioned hoedown. Brothers and sisters, here's a lowdown. When it comes time to have a showdown, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned hoedown to chase your blues away. When Lady Luck gives you the throwdown, when old, when old man worry starts to mow down, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned
now, friends, here's Happy Johnny. Well, how are you folks and kin? You chuckle this fine Friday afternoon. Come on, Lefty, now. Stay out of that kitchen. Not too many pancakes. <laughs> yeah. oh, God, right, you've been right. filling yourself up all day. Now, don't eat so doggone many. <laughs> you get so polluted, you... Well, <clears throat> here we go. And it's a duet right now. I didn't say how you men, did it? No. Well, Ooh. how you men? Hi, hey, John. What do you say? <laughs> here it is, Silver Moon on a Golden Gate. There's a silver moon on the golden gate Smiling through along the blue Pacific shore While it shines above on the wall I love Silver charms caress the arms I'm longing for And Allison today. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I got a hunch that if you leave now, you can get here in time to get yourself some mighty fine pancakes and syrup. How about it, fellas? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, what a bunch of people. What a bunch of people up here. I huh? got some good ones, too. Mm -hmm. One lady walked up to me and she handed me a recipe. Not for making pancakes, but how to cook a husband. <laughs> oh. Listen to this, Mr. <laughs> James. Says if he sputters and sizzles at first, don't be alarmed or anxious. Some husbands do this until quite done. <laughs> Add confections. Sugar-coated kisses. <laughs> no pepper, but a little spice improves him, you know. Stir him gently and watch for a while, and then take him out of the oven and present the Easter bill to him. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that'll do it, yes. We'd kind of like to fiddle one today. Hornpipes, jigs and reels and so forth, all three of them thrown together. As a matter of fact, it's a soldier's joy hornpipe, and then a good old clog dance followed by sailor's hornpipe, and I'm a-thinking right now is a good time to start it up. One, two, three, four, and <laughs> let's have it. <laughs> Thank you. 
tell the folks about the big show known as the Stallion Show. Know about that, Mr. James, do you? Well, I've heard a little bit about it, Johnny. Well, down in Waterloo, April the 10th through the 13th, this National Stallion Show will provide the family with wholesome, thrilling entertainment at a very popular price. Only the boxes at the Hippodrome will be reserved. Hippodrome? Sure, out at the Cattle Congress grounds. <laughs> all other seats outside of the boxes, all the other seats will go for only a dollar plus tax for the adults and 25 cents for the youngsters plus the tax, of course. And morning and afternoon shows are free except on Sunday when there will be a matinee, charged matinee on Sunday afternoon. Now, you'll want to see this dazzling, breathtaking American trotters and death-defying speeds around the ring. The largest trotter group ever assembled in a Midwest ring. Remember to take the whole family to the National Stallion Show in Waterloo, April the 10th through the 13th. It's going to be a dandy show. I kind of think Mr. James got something to say here. Well, Johnny, you know, you've been talking about all this other food, you know, pancakes, syrup, and sausages and everything. Yeah. Well... <laughs> I, uh, I got some here I'd kind of like to read, too, you know. Uh, uh-huh. The uh, Hartlip Equipment Company at 921 East 4th and Waterloo wonders, how would you like to have fresh corn on the cob, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, straight from the garden to your dinner table, any time of the year? The amazing new Harder Freeze Home Locker practically does that for you, for it keeps all favorite foods with original flavor and goodness frozen right in. Inquire about the amazing low cost of the Harder Freeze Home Locker Phone 21887 Waterloo, the Hartlip Equipment Company, or your nearby Harder Freeze dealer. Now, how's that for a good deal, Johnny? Well, that's all right. I'm just standing here thinking. Yeah? That, if freezing it makes it better, I'll swear they must have had some of these pancakes frozen. Because <laughs> <laughs> they are good. And so is Lloyd Carter singing me Divorce Me COD. <laughs> Gonna use it at 4 p.m. So you can call your secret love and tell the news to him. You thought your little romance was on the strict QT. So if you want your freedom, PDQ, divorce me, COD, I won't be round to hear you cry. I'm Texas bound, and by and by, you can reach me down in Dallas, gentle delivery. So if you want your freedom, PDQ, divorce me, COD. around 
to the old cook shack we're a-headin'. We'll throw the pie in the chink cook's eye and we'll tie him to his bed and then make him run to the tune of a gun. So hold that critter down, hold him down, hold him down, burn his high, burn his high. There's extra pay for every day, so hold that critter down, burn his high, burn his high, hold him down, hold him down. And we're enjoying Pancake Day at Allison. Right now, thanking you one and all, it's time for us to skedaddle and yell the go! Singing, swinging, it's radio round of time. Yes, sir, it's always a lot of fun when Happy Johnny and the Higgins boys get together. They'll be back tomorrow, same time, so be a listen. Today, the boys were transcribed. Yes, that was the Higgins boys in the early part of 1947. Sometime after that, Lloyd Carter and his wife left us, and we hired a young man from the Midwest there by the name of Kurt Delaney, who came east with us back into Baltimore. We left in the month of May of 1948, went back to Baltimore, Maryland, with the expectations that we'd get back on the air, but we never did because of union difficulties. After a very successful season that summer of 48, in the fall, we broke up. Never had an outfit together again. Now, something else we want to show you. I actually shouldn't have said we never had an outfit together again because we did, and it was a family show with one outsider, and that was Cordwood, Cordwood Keeney. We would like to put a couple numbers on here of this family show, and this tape recording was made in August of 1956. Our daughter, Nancy, Singing a song for you. We hope that you'll like, like this.
Yes, we started out in the spring of 1953 with the family show. There was Cindy, the oldest, who, by the way, now is married, and this is 1958. There was Cindy and Nancy and Tom, and the gal played the guitar, and later on we added Cordwood, who played the electric guitar you just heard. We have a little tune we want to put on as a family situation called uh, Fisher's Hornpipe. This is one the gal never liked to play because it really moves you around on a guitar. And I should have told you, of course, that Nancy's playing the accordion now instead of her Uncle Flash, her Uncle Loot, Uncle Lewis. <laughs> it's Fisher's Hornpipe. <laughs> family show we had what we considered a very fine trio and the trio consisted of the gal and Cindy and Nancy we'd like to hear our trio now it's all right with you just hold your horse till I get the machinery geared up here ready <laughs> <laughs> 